Jesus, your center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. For my way, you're the fire and light when nights are long and cold. In sadness, you are the laughter that shatters all my fears when I'm all alone. Your hand is there. Oh, 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 you're the center of my soul. Oh, all that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my In the simple things in life, you're the music in the meadows and the streams, the voices of the children, my family and my home. You're the source and finish. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the center of our joy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
let's go ahead and just praise him this morning let's worship him let's glorify him let's adore him let's magnify him let's love him let's love him let's express our express our gratitude and our love towards him thank you jesus we give you praise blessed be your name thank you for your goodness thank you for your mercy thank you for your kindness thank you for being the center of our joy Ooh, thank you jesus thank you for being our contentment thank you for the reason we'll find pleasures in the little little things of life thank you for contentment thank you jesus thank you oh god thank you for peace thank you for tranquility we are grateful father thank you for the weekend thank you for another brand new week thank you for your plans towards us this week are plans of greatness plans of favor plans of goodness not for evil we give you praise jesus blessed be your name and the people of god said amen okay we are going to read the bible we'll read from uh, matthew 21 okay um don't forget this is confirm at confirm we sit at the feet of jesus uh, so that he will walk on us walk on our hearts and help us to conform more and more to him in all ramifications of life matthew chapter 21 as they approached jerusalem and came to bethphage on the mount of olives jesus sent two disciples saying to them go to the village ahead of you and at once you'll find a donkey tied there with her colt by her untie them and bring them to me if anyone says anything to you tell him that the lord needs them and he will send them right away this took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet say to the daughter of zion see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey on a colt the foal of a donkey the disciples went and did as jesus had instructed them they brought the donkey and the colt placed their cloaks on them and jesus sat on them a very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road the crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted hosanna to the son of david blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest when jesus entered jerusalem the whole city was stirred and asked who is this the crowds answered this is jesus the prophet from nazareth in galilee Jesus entered the temple area and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did, and the children shouting in the temple area, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. Do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. Yes, replied Jesus. Have you never read? From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise. And he left them and went out of the city to Bethany where he spent the night. Early in the morning, as he was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, May you never bear fruit again. Immediately the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly? They asked. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. If you have faith and do not doubt... Not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Jesus entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things? they asked. And who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I will also ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, where did it come from? Was it from heaven or from men? They discussed it among themselves and said, 
If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say from men, we are afraid of the people, for they all hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. Then he said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing uh, these things. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. The tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and went away on a journey. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his fruit. The tenants seized his servants. They beat one, killed another, and stoned a third. Then he sent other servants to them, more than the first time, and the tenants treated them the same way. Last of all, he sent his son to them. They will respect my son, he said. But when the tenants saw the son... They said to each other, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and take his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? He will bring those wretches to a wretched end, they replied. And he will rent the vineyard to other tenants who will give him his share of the crop at harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures? The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. He who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, but he on whom it falls will be crushed. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard Jesus' parables, they knew he was talking about them. They looked for a way to arrest him, but they were afraid of the crowd because the people held that he was a prophet. Hallelujah. Praise God. The reading of God's word is blessed in Jesus' name. All right. We, uh, it's confirm. We still are learning how to confirm to Jesus in power and in authority, how to walk in the level and dimension of power and authority that Jesus walked. We have said several, so many things about it. One of the fact is that we already are vested with the same power that Jesus was vested with, the same power. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, he said. That authority is inside us, that power is inside us, praise God. He's seated on the right hand of power. We are seated with him on the right hand of power. So we've been looking at how to release power. We looked at several keys. We looked at the key of brokenness last week. This week, I want us to look at the key of faith. The key of faith, all right? Um, faith is so vitally important in our Christian walk. You know, many and many people think they understand what faith is but they do not understand what faith is. And that's why faith does not work for many people. Because many people misconceive it. Okay? Um, the simple... I, I will go about it like this. I will not define it the way it's all, always defined in church. I'll break it down into three components. And um, understanding what it is is more important than than knowing its definition. All right, faith is is wholesome, is complete if it has three components in it. 
faith must have three components for him for it to be awesome, for it to be productive, resultful. Okay, faith must start with conviction. There must be a belief. Okay, strong belief. And then faith must also have a confession. Okay, there must be speaking of what is believed. And then faith must have a conversation. That's a behaving or a, an acting upon what is believed. So faith believes, faith speaks what is believed, and faith acts on what is believed. Confession, sorry, conviction, confession, and then it is crowned by conversation. Conversation, three C's there. Now, if any of this is not in place, faith is not complete. And many times, uh, okay, if any of this is not in place, faith is not complete. And, you know, that's when faith begins to be to get results by accident. But when all these three are complete, faith is wholesome and it surely will get results. Faith is very powerful. I've tried to walk in faith, learned to walk in faith for, for several decades, and I've come to the conclusion that faith is powerful. Faith is powerful. Praise God. All right? So this morning, I want us to concentrate on the conviction aspect of faith, okay, which is the belief. Faith starts with believing, believing that 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 something is okay not believing only the promises now let me say this before i go on the reason that many people's faith is not strong enough is because they believe they try to believe only the promises of god but they do not believe the whole gospel for your faith to be strong you have to believe the whole gospel and uh, you know it's along you know in believing the whole gospel you believe the the promises alongside the whole gospel it's so important what is the whole gospel jesus came as a human he died on the cross of calvary he was buried and he went to hell for our 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 sake and then he resurrected when he died we died with him on the cross of calvary and all that all our shortcomings were nailed with him praise god we have to believe that it is after you have believed that that you'll be able to believe successfully the promises bible says all the promises of god in him are yea and amen all the promises of god in him are yea and amen we can't separate believing the promises from believing the message of the cross or believing the message of the Christ. Praise the Lord. Okay, so believing is very important. The word believe was first used in Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. Bible says that Abel, Abraham believed and it was counted to him for righteousness. He believed and it was counted to him for righteousness. He believed and it was counted. It's important that we believe, we believe, we believe the gospel. We believe the resurrection of, of, from the dead. We believe that we have been saved from sin. Many people find it difficult. That's why many people struggle with sin. They, they have not come to a point where they believe that they have been saved, where they believe that they, are, they died with Christ on the cross of Calvary and they have been resurrected. Many don't believe that they are seated with Christ on the right hand of power you have to believe that it is having believed that you'll be able to believe the promises praise god uh, so the promises are, are little if you believe that you are seated in the boardroom where things are being discussed where life issues have been determined where what happens to who is being determined then you will not find it difficult to believe that all things are already yours. Praise God. Bel faith starts with believing. Faith starts with believing. Faith starts with believing. Bible says you shall have. Okay. Faith starts with believing. It's so 
very important. It's so very important. Let's see a couple of scriptures about believing. Let's okay, Isaiah 53, verse 1. Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Okay, it is the person that believes God's report that the arm of the Lord will be revealed. Glory to God. Who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Until you believe, you cannot see the hand of God. In other words, until we believe, we cannot see the move of God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, several scriptures on believing. Several scriptures on believing or let's see if we can take matthew chapter 8 verse 13 for example this was the story of the centurion jesus uh, uh, told him he said as you have believed so be it on you to you as you have believed so be go your way as you have believed so be it on you. what was happening the his servant was about to die and he came to jesus and they said he needed the servant to be so jesus wanted to follow him he said no don't follow me ah uh, you are too much to follow me now just speak the word only and my servant will be healed so jesus was marveled at that faith and he said as you have believed okay so uh, i was saying that conviction must be uh, uh, must be escorted with confession and conversation look at that man he believed it he came looking for jesus and he said what he believed exactly the, the woman with the what the woman with the issue of blood did she wherever she was believed that if she uh, uh, touched the hem of jesus's garment she may be healed so she came how uh, despite how frail she was she came and she touched the hem of the garment. bible says she said within herself Okay, so your believing must be escorted by your confession and then it must be backed up by your action, your conversation. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 9 verse 28. Believe ye that I am able to do this. Jesus asked those blind men. Believe ye that I am able to do this. And they said yes. And then Jesus said go and then receive your sight. And Bible said they received their sight. Praise the Lord. I said praise God. Okay, um, um, uh, s- uh, um, several, several scriptures. Matthew chapter 9, verse 23. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Matthew 21, 22. All things, whatsoever you pray, when you pray, when you, all things, whatsoever you believe, all things whatsoever you ask sorry in prayers in praying when you pray believe and you shall receive it all things whatsoever you ask in praying believing you shall receive it all things whatsoever you ask in praying believing you shall receive it believing is very powerful when he went to his village he could not do mighty works and it was because of their unbelief bible says he there did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief he could not do mighty works there because of their unbelief one time that's matthew 13 58 matthew 13 58 one time they came to him and they asked him um, why could we not cast out that devil the disciples were asking and he told them his, his unbelief he said because of your unbelief he said because if you believe in if you if you believe in your heart if you say to this mountain be removed and you believe in your heart and doubt not he said this mountain will get away and it, and it will be moved believing is powerful what makes so why does people's many many people's belief fail number one they don't believe the whole gospel they want to believe the promises in isolation number two their believing is not pure it is mingled with unbelief one minute they are believing the next time they are they are, they are uh, not believing number two it is that okay that means it is not consistent it's not consistent believing one minute not believing the next minute wavering believing 
wavering believing it is not consistent it's not consistent number three it is not tenacious it's not intense enough it's not intense to it's not palpable they are believing it's not palpable that centurion's believing was palpable sir he came many many days maybe like two or three days journey and then he said jesus don't follow me just stay here say the word stay here say the word that woman's uh, uh, woman with the issue of blood i believe in was palpable how uh, she had suffered she had bled for 12 years she must have had cancer of the service or cancer of the uterus but she came despite her, how frail her believing was tenacious then many people's faith uh, believing doesn't work because it's not backed by actions it's not backed by actions and then many people don't hold on to their believing when they see contrary situations they begin to believe differently so in order to fortify you fortify your believing your conviction today let your com- conviction be pure and let it be broad believe the gospel as a whole don't just believe the promises all the promises of god in christ in christ in him are ye and amen all the promises are a part and parcel of the christ life believe that you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus believe that you have overcome sin believe that the old man has died believe that the new man is on your inside and begin to walk in newness of life when you believe all round 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 uh, whole heartedly and well-rounded your believing the promises will work better praise the lord i said praise god it's so very important believe from your heart also believe from your heart let your conviction be heartfelt let it rock your heart when you believe from the heart you don't change it at every passing minute you stay with it even if you will die with it praise the lord i said praise god thank you jesus somebody go ahead and tell yourself that i believe god say it again i believe god say i believe the gospel i believe that jesus died for me and took my place in hell he took my place in sickness he took my place in death he took my place in poverty in the name say it to yourself in the name of jesus he took my place in backwardness and stagnation therefore i am free to fulfill destiny in the name of jesus Jesus took my place in misfortune. Therefore, I am favored. Wherever I turn, I am favored in the name of Jesus. I believe that Jesus is seated in the heavens in the place of power. And I believe that I am seated with him in heavenly places on the right hand of power. I believe that I am complete in him who is the head of all principalities and belief. Go ahead and say it to yourself. I believe that I am complete complete in him i am complete i am not deficient i am complete in him who is the head of all principalities and powers i believe that the life which i now live in the flesh i live by the faith of the son of god who died for me and loved me glory to jesus i believe that christ who is the head of all principalities and powers live on my inside therefore i am all i am the head i am head over all principalities and powers I believe that Christ, to whom power has been given over all flesh, lives on my inside. Therefore, I have power over all flesh. In the name of Jesus, I believe that I am victorious. I believe that I am. I have abundance. The abundance life of God is on my inside. In the name of Jesus, say to yourself as I go this week, this week answers to me. I believe it. This week answers to me favorably in the name of Jesus. Things align with the will of God in my life this week in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God has always been good to me. This week cannot be an exception. I see miracles. I see signs. This week, in the name of Jesus, favor accompanies me wherever I go in the name of Jesus. Trees of the field clap their hands for my sake. The mountains and the hills break forth into singing before me. In the name of Jesus, I be, he said, Would these signs are followed them that believe. They shall lay their hands on the sick and they recover. I lay my hands on the sick 
this week and the sick recovers in the name of Jesus. I am light in darkness to many in the name of Jesus. I snatch souls from the kingdom of God this week in the name of Jesus. I believe and I'm, I'm, I'm an ambassador and I'm, a, I'm on an unstoppable one. I believe I am, I am with, I'm here to bear witness to the truth and I do it successfully this week in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. And the people of God said, Amen. Please do have a wonderful week. Praise God.